Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with the Seagate wireless drive because a lot of folks who had Macs were wondering if you could format it uh, with a Mac file system as opposed to the Windows NTFS file system that comes with it. Now on the Mac, uh, they will give you a driver so you can write files back and forth to it by plugging it in with the USB cable, uh, but you may not want to do that. So if you wanted to format it with a uh, Mac format, there is a way to do it, and I'm gonna show that to you right now. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is turn the drive off and then plug it into your Mac so that you get the drive to mount up uh, like a regular drive would on your Mac. And then you want to load up the Apple uh, Disk Utility, which we'll pull up here. And in here, you'll probably see something very similar to this. Now, I've already done this once because I had to figure it out. Uh, so now we're going to go and uh, do it again. But you will see something similar to what you see here, basically two drive partitions. And what you want to do is change this uh, to one partition. And then what you're going to do is go over to uh, the Mac OS Extended Journal. Then you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this one Seagate uh, Wireless. And I should add that when you're about to do this, uh, everything that is on this drive will be erased. So you need to make sure that uh, you actually uh, take all of your data off of it first before you do this because this is a very permanent thing. It erases the drive and then reformats it to the Mac file system. So uh, we're going to call it Seagate Wireless again, uh, but it's important that you click over here to Options and uh, take it off of what it will be at by default, which will be this GUID partition table. Uh, what you want is it to say Master Boot Record. That's the one you want to have. So you're going to click OK there, and then you're going to click Apply, and this is when your drive gets erased. So it'll give you the warning, and we'll click on Partition here, and it will go ahead and uh, format that drive. Now what will happen is we will get, uh, once this is done, uh, we'll be able to go back into the finder and actually copy files over to it via the USB, and then we'll switch the drive off, put it into wireless mode, and see how it operates. So let's uh, wait for this to finish up, and then we'll uh, pick it up from there. All right, it is done. We see we have Seagate Wireless here, and I can go over to, I'm just going to grab a file out of my uh, just out of my downloads folder here and just copy a movie file over. So we've copied a file to the drive. Uh, I'm going to eject it now and uh, then I'm going to pull it out of uh, the Mac's USB port here. And now what I'm going to do uh, is unplug it completely just to make sure we're totally uh, ready to go here in wireless mode. I'm going to switch it back on. And this boot up process does take a little bit, so you have to kind of wait for this to go on. Uh, but once the uh, blue light on the Wi-Fi is up, uh, we're going to come back and see if our phone works with it now. All right, so I've reconnected the phone to the drive wirelessly. It th does see that there's a video in the videos directory there. So we're going to tap on video here and see what we get. It does take a little bit for it to spin up. I think this is more of a function of the app, uh, maybe with some of the interference in the room than it is uh, with the formatting we just did. But it does seem to run a little bit slower. And it does seem to have a little bit of a problem queuing up here. This time it seems to be running OK. Uh, and there we go. So that works. Now what we're going to do is uh, take a file from my phone and upload it uh, back to my uh, drive and then we'll plug it back into the Mac and see if we can read that. So I'm going to grab uh, maybe this movie file here in this image and I'm going to go to actions and upload and we'll let those copy over. So it looks like it is able to read and write to that Mac file system. And uh, now what we're going to do is pop back over to our Mac, plug the drive back in and see if we can read those files on the disk. All right, so we plug the drive back into my Mac here, and we can see that uh, there's a folder now from my iPhone, and if I go in and just tap on that movie file, it seems to load up and play just fine. This is a slow motion video, so it's not anything wrong with the video file here. It's supposed to play like that, so that seems to work. And if I go over to this image file here and pull that up, that also seems to be working just fine as well. I have my screen a little bit zoomed in here, so if I zoom out, you can see it looks just fine there as well. Uh, the one thing that wasn't on there before, when I, uh, before I did this formatting was that uh, this logs folder was not visible, so they must have had this hidden in the partition somewhere. Uh, when it was formatted for NTFS, but uh, it seems to just be something you'll have to deal with on there. Or maybe you could hide, you could hide it probably in the Mac operating system also and not see it. But uh, it does seem to work, though, if you format it for uh, the Mac HFS journaled file format that we did, provided you just make sure it's in that master boot record option when you create the partition, uh, everything should work fine as it did here. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.